because I had a drinking and alcohol problem, right? No, no. So I had to go get some help. And it's real funny. I never had any intentions of getting back into the business or playing in a bar. You know, I mean, I, I never did. And uh, But B.R., he just uh, came along and said, oh, come on, Mom. You know, we never got a chance to play together. And how, how, how awesome is it to be able to play with your son. <laughs> you know? and, and the other thing is Pat Turner, my friend over here. Do you remember the Vietnam War? Yeah. He started it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was living out here in Yellow Point in, in Cedar. Right where the tree farm is. I used to be the Smith one. Yeah. The Smith, he's a butcher, Barry Smith, was my husband, his father. And all these people in here are, are very old friends from school. They're all my age. I know they don't look it, but they are. And, you know, it, it's just that you're never too old to rock and roll. <laughs> Great line. So, 
So yeah, I, I'm happy. I'm having a ball. I never thought I'd be doing this well, again. What happened to the Vietnam War? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after you started it, you had to leave. Yeah. So you know, okay, so here's how it goes. I was living down here on the tree farm with my two little kids. They were like two and three years old. My husband and I were split up. We stayed long enough together to have a couple of good-looking boys. And then we went our own ways, and, and that's all good. He's, he's remarried and has a lovely family. So all of a sudden, there's a knock at my door one day, and it's this fellow with long hair down past his ass. His name was Luther, and he was from uh, Missoula, Montana. And he had helped set up the church to get all the conscientious objectors out of of the states. Draft, draft, draft. Yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to be politically correct. I know you. So this guy, this guy, he was our bass player, and he was 17 years old. Oh. He had some hair back then. He had hair. <laughs> the funny thing is, is if if the people that were working at this bar, like when I was when I was a little kid, and Mom was telling you about her little drinking problem she had there, which was true, we'd be sitting at home and we'd be like paging paging Sherry Smith, you know, like the, you know the kids at home, right? You know, and uh, like we're hungry, Mom. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. There's something in the fridge or whatever it was, right? Peanut butter. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes no, later, I swear to God, the, is the phone number still seven two two three one four one here? Yeah. Is it really? Thanks. Well, that's from forty years ago. <laughs> Up there. That's no bullshit. This is awesome. That's no bullshit. Well, the, the funny thing was, Crow and Gate too. I got kicked out of this bar for swearing, for saying the bad word. And I was sitting with all the 101s before they became the Hells Angels. And we were all sitting down here. And I said, why am I getting kicked out? Because they're all saying it too. And they said, yeah, but you're the loudest. <laughs> Song. Oh, that's a good one, Mom. Oh. I think you should turn her volume her volume up though for her mic. Yeah. So um the next song kind of goes along with that. Get on the mic. Because um I ran into problems with the RCMP a lot. They used to take me in and uh, I've been to jail for impaired driving. But here's the thing. I worked in a homeless shelter for the last five years. And I got to watch the RCMP do their thing. And let me tell you, we have the nicest bunch of guys in Nanaimo. They treat yeah, the vulnerable yeah, yeah. with kindness, respect, and patience. I've seen it myself. Yes. These, these homeless people are, are kicking them and spitting on them and scratching them. And they just, they're so kind and so good. So I've written a song. That's a good tune. And this is dedicated to the RCMP because they, people don't see the other side of their life, how they get transferred away when they make friends and people calling them names and you, you know. So anyway, this is called the RCMP song. <laughs> Driving straight 